And that's just to help tell her that, that she's doing a good job. before she gets treated. Come here. Oh, I'm paying attention. <laughs> I'm paying attention to when she's not nervous. And now she's about she's flat, but I don't know if she's gonna try to fly again. Is she gonna be released today? Nope, none of the birds in the rings are releasable to the wild. Plus their eyes. Um, and when we see them, uh, some of them are perfectly capable of being re-released back to the wild because they have their vision. But then some like this bird recovered from the virus, but there's so much damage to the eye, you can't open the eye. And that's what happened. So I don't that's why she's not really worried about it. It is! Oh, gold star for you! You're only like the second person that is recognized to write a book. Really. Did you get a good shot? <laughs> this bird actually uh, is totally healthy now, but it was found uh, starving. <laughs> Country to the the It's about a 40% mortality rate just from nature in their first year. Uh, much less all the stuff that's involved too. It's tough out there. I'm pretty sure the other day that was what I had in mind. Yeah, there, there's a couple things related to that. There's more of them, but they're also getting more acclimated into urban areas and uh, are finding, you know, wherever there's open water. Mm. Actually, they really like to catch. Their like, brains are a lot of good stuff in there. I guess. Oh, oh, the yolk sack is good too. Oh, no, it's very messy for me. Oh, no. I know you're That's what you just hit. Sometimes they eat it all in one shot and sometimes they don't. It actually helps. It. There's a lot of vitamins in the yolk sack. Yeah. It's eating a, a small chick. Chicken. But until they get a little older, they still have a yolk sack inside of them. It's just like eating eggs for us isn't good for you. It's lots of, lots of vitamins and stuff. Same with a lot of protein. There's a uh, same with the yolk sack for them. All right. And they'll take a smaller bird. She's gonna eat that whole thing. Oh, she's gonna break it. If she was really hungry, she'd probably. Don't use your fingers? Not with a peregrine. The smaller words, yes. Peregrine, no. Peregrines, uh, our peregrines, her, Juno and Artemis, who are our two education per peregrines, are very food oriented, and they would never try to hurt you. They're very, they're really good with people, but sometimes they get really over enthusiastic about food. So sometimes if you went by and, and she, you had food in your hand, she would like try to get it so quick that she might catch your fingers too. Bulging out, because she's got some food in there now. So that basically lets her. Gulp down a lot of food, which, you know, she can't digest it that fast, but she can store it in that crop so that she's not going to have to find food so soon. Plus, which, you know, uh, she helps her get her down before some other predator comes and maybe takes it from her.
Is in the wild, start eating. There or does it just no, store? it just sits there, and then it process. It'll move down to her stomach, little by little. Yeah. You can see sometimes they'll start moving it around. They can actually kind of move it to, to stack more into it. Wow. That's pretty much almost anything we give her. She's going to do a rouse. Um, there's the rouse. But uh, in in the wild, she'd only be eating birds because of the way she hunts. Now, if she's coming at 200 miles an hour in a dive, you don't really want to be hunting something on the ground because you make a little bit of a mistake and you're in trouble. You gotta slow down off the path. Wow. You have more, but you have to wait. You can't eat it all now. You can't eat it all now. I know you love to eat it all now. Over here. Over here. They want to take it. People don't bother her so much. She knows people. She's looking up at birds. Yeah. Oh. It's funny because sometimes when we do our event in the, our Raptor Bowl, it's our big uh, fundraiser that we have in the middle of the summer. And we'll have it at uh, Burt's Pub in downtown Minneapolis. And we'll sit there and all of a sudden she'll look up and I'll look up. And, oh, there's a peregrine. She'll be spotting peregrines flying in downtown Minneapolis. Look down this way, baby. Um, he'll be able to fly over here. Over here. Yeah. Can't get her to look down, sorry. Trying to make my sound. Oh, now she's here and I'm looking at Oh, now I've got the fly Still can't get her to look down. Hey. Oh. You can't see your face when you do that, baby. <laughs> She's like, but there's so many interesting birds up there. I can. Two weeks ago. Oh, I do. I do. Hi. Yes, you said you were going to be here. Excellent. Yep. I do remember you. Yeah, I'm going to put her back down because they want to ask, yep. ask me some questions. Yeah. What are you guys releasing today? You know, I haven't told me yet. Oh, okay. I don't know. Because you usually decide, like, the night before. Now I'm Okay. All the ones are in the hospital. Okay. They'll, um, pick, so I'm not sure. What's, is that one a, a variation of the red tail? Yes, it is a red tail hawk. It is a red tail hawk. But their plumage is geographically related. Yep. So this is the color you see in the Midwest. Yep. The further west you go, they get darker and darker and darker and darker. Okay, yep. The further east and north you go, the lighter they can okay. get. Okay. Um, this one was found up in Itasca. Oh, okay. They can fly, so they can go wherever they want, so there's foundries, but it tends to be geographically related. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know the U of M used to have them in the lineup. Thanks for coming, guys. Yeah. So does it. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not like I know they had rebuilt it. She saw the food, she went, huh? And then she left, and now she's really, it's here. And they call it, it's So, look at Yeah, it's time to bring it in. Yeah. Then they just decided that it was not going to survive. And, no. I heard that Okay, you're, you're yeah, fixed now. Good yeah. luck. Yeah. So find your way. It's supposed to be in South America, but yeah. Yeah. So it kind of depends. If you look at the peregrine falcon, you can see her, I mean, her toes are just really long for her body. Uh, because if she grabbed a, a bird with short toes, she'd get a clump of feathers. So they need long toes to get the feathers. Um, 
because they might not kill their prey with their feet, their, their feet are a little weaker and they're not getting stuck to the ground, they're catching birds up in the air. Um, they might not kill their prey with their feet, so they have these and knots on his feet, and they're not feet and not. but they have a big curve, and then falcons have a little triangular notch part way down. It's a little hard, it looks like a little fang on the side. What kind of bird is that? See. But he can put his, the, um, the notch on the neck or whatever he caught and snap its neck. Wow. What? Wow. what is that? What is that? This is an American kestrel. It's a small falcon. Um, Where are the fastest birds? They're really fast, yeah. Actually, American falcons are the ones that are known to be really, really fast. Uh, American falcons hunt by flying up high, and they dive down on their prey. They've been clocking over 200 miles an hour and die. Yeah, that one. And you, you might think, oh, that doesn't sound right, but actually one of the places that they were measured, their speed was measured, was at an Air Force base down in Texas. Wow. Where they can measure where they can see their speed. So, that is actually a red tail hawk. So, both hawks are how about you? You would get in big trouble if you shot a eagle. What if you? What, would you even? What do you even? I have to tell Monica we saw the osprey on the osprey. Yeah. 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 Yeah, kind of. Kind of. He's just stunning himself. The wing on that side, the right wing, um, that one was, he had dislocated his elbow, so that's why he had a hang on. Can I go see some more? Thank you. 